Hollywood virtue signalers have often been at the forefront of cancel culture, but actor Andy Serkis, best known for playing Gollum in Lord of the Rings, has refreshingly spoken out against the denigration of icons like Woody Allen and John Wayne and those unable to separate the art from the artist. Asked how the contemporarily racist views of Wayne, who died in 1979 and denied allegations of child sexual abuse against Annie Hall director Allen, impact enjoyment of their movies, uh, Circus asked, does art transcend the human that created it? We know countless examples of brilliant pieces of art, film, music, culture that have been created by people that we no longer think of as good people. I still find it difficult not to watch a Woody Allen film because they're brilliant movies. It's very hard to emotionally disconnect from some artworks. Well, of course, I'm keen for your verdict on this. Should we still enjoy art created by cancelled celebrities like John Wayne or Woody Allen? Dan at GBNews.uk. Tweet me at GBNews. Vote in our poll too. But to back it out now, help you make your mind up. It is shameless actress Tina Malone, author of the upcoming book, The Case for Cancel Culture, Ernest Owens, there it is, and renowned music producer, one of the best, Pete Waterman. So Pete, this doesn't feel right to me. I think we have to be able to enjoy the work of these legends, right? Absolutely. You can't, you can't cancel history. Right or wrong, you can't cancel it. And, you know, the biggest of all these is Wagner. I mean, would you, have, you, know, would you agree on Wagner's choice of, of antecedents? Of course you wouldn't. It's absolutely appalling. But his music is absolutely amazing. John Wayne's films are amazing. Will I watch that Woody Allen? I didn't find Woody Allen that funny anyway. But <laughs> you can't suddenly deny it because of allegations or even absolute acts. Well, no, indeed. And the problem is, uh, when you go down this path, you know who's next? Shakespeare. And Ernest Owens, I mean, look, you're actually saying we should embrace cancel culture? I mean, this show is fighting against cancel culture and you're writing a book saying, yay, let's celebrate cancelling people. Why? Um, because I think that it's a form of democracy. You know, we have a choice as individuals to choose what kind of, you know, things we want to support and who we like. And isn't it our right to choose who we want to support and who we don't? When we go to the polls, don't we cancel an elected official? Um, well, of course. But what if I want to watch a John Wayne movie? You're saying that's the wrong thing to do. I personally think it is. But I don't think that everyone should be forced to have to agree. You know, I personally have made the decision that I don't support, um, you know, Woody Allen, R. Kelly, Kanye West, because I think these people represent bad ideas. And I think that if you really care about the communities you live in and you represent the values, you want to affiliate yourself with things that don't represent your values. I mean, isn't that what is a democracy looks like? I mean, I live in America. So for me, it's, it's very much so. Yeah, and you love cancel culture over there. My God. Tina Malone, uh, where do you stand on this one? Um, I can't ag agree with Pete. I mean, you know, if you, if you look, we wouldn't read Alice in Wonderland to our children if we looked at no. the behaviour of Lewis Carroll. You know, he was a, a heroin addict. And Matisse, you know, would we take his pictures out of museums because he was a... a uh, it was supposed or, you know, that he was a paedophile. But I do think you can separate the art from, and the genius from the behaviour. I mean, there's a lot of people socially and ethically that I work with who are brilliant actors, but I wouldn't go out with them for a drink because I don't believe in what they believe in politically or socially or ethically. But, but, but Tina, that's I'm going to call you. But I'm going to call you out on that. Actually, you know, so I'm going to call you out on that. We wouldn't Tina. listen to Beethoven and Mozart Tina, and John Lennon if we listen Tina, to everything that they said. And also, Tina, I can do you hear think me? Every case is an individual case because Tina. if you look, we already cancelled. Uh, people Tina, like hello. Jackson. Listen to he me, Tina. Kevin Spacey. I mean, you okay. know, they were proved to innocent. I don't know if Tina I mean, can hear me. So Tina, can you, you know, hear me? Earth to Tina. Tina I Malone, mean, I can never you hear me? Jimmy Savile or Rolf Harris okay. anyway. Um, I thought you were creepy. But I'm not going to not watch Bullets Over Broadway. I love this woman. Or Hannah and her her sisters. Really. And how She's it taken over. Me, even if She's Woody taken Allen over. is a little pave and a creep and whatever else. But at the same time, I can value his art. I just can. Okay. I don't think you can hear me, Tina. Can you hear me? No. Yes. No. Oh, you can. Okay. Can. Well done, Tina. We love you. 
<laughs> Pete, she's the only person who shut me up. Well, Tina, I was just going to say, I want to pick you up on the fact that you say you wouldn't go out for dinner or drinks with an actor who yeah. you work with if you have different political views to them. I mean, I find that so upsetting and I think it's the terrible thing about your industry. No, go out for the drinks, go out for the dinner, have a reasoned no, debate saying, and be friends well, with people I'm who you disagree with. I'm not saying I wouldn't have dinner with... Well, yeah, I actually am saying I wouldn't have dinner with a Tory, but that's a whole other story. Oh, Get Tina. me on about a different. But what I'm saying is shocking. that I, it, there's certain ways of life, you know, okay. I've mixed with but actors. Pete, who, okay, example, I'm going to bring Pete in here you know, now. Pete, I think Tina has actually I'm just not, represented my the issue of cancel culture, someone, Pete. I'd cut it off, you know okay. what I mean? OK, Pete, come in, because I think Tina has actually just reflected what I'm talking about. I, I mean, how appalling that she wouldn't go for dinner with a Tory. I find that appalling, Pete. Well, uh, yeah, I think I think I think Tina's a, a little bit exaggerated there. She could, she would. I think you may argue with them, but that's what politics are all about. I mean, if you can't have the opposite opinion, we can't all agree. That's I think that's great. I think that this whole uh, counterculture thing is he, is very American, if I may say so. Yeah. I mean. You know, but it's spreading here, isn't it? Well, it I, is spreading know, here. When I you've got a book it. out and he holds the book up, I think he's absolutely doing himself a pat. Oh, that book up! There you go. That, oh, not I, again! I think he's doing not a again. Pat good here. He's, he's, he's doing a great. Not a bevy till you're 21. I mean, I mean, this is where I we mean, we're you know, that out. No yeah. disrespect. I love America. Yeah. I love New York. I love Louisiana. But I'm not being funny. I mean, you know, they can't really lecture us on what we should. Well, should let me give Ernest what's a chance morally here. Morally right. Let, well, let me give Ernest you know, a chance some of the here. Are bizarre, frankly. Ernest, how do you want to respond to all of this? You know, I would just say that everyone has their own, everyone is canceling, right? How I'm not. The I'm not. You're canceling a lot of the no, things on your not. show. Don't support. Here, listen. What's funny is I've that you are, 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 uh, Yes, and that's great. But here's the difference, though. What we're talking about amongst ourselves is not a difference of political opinion. Some of these people have done some very predatory things that have created an unsafe environment. Like, do we think that Harvey Weinstein should be canceled? Or what about, you know, Maxwell? Well, over I'm going to watch his movies. Some of his yeah. movies, Ernest, are my favorite movies of all time. Osage, uh, what was it called? August Osage County. One of my favorite movies of all time. I'm going to watch it. I don't care that Weinstein produced it. I'm sorry. <laughs> You can watch. Can watch. Here's the thing. I know you can Joe watch. Wayne was a but it's okay. It's you, okay you for you want to watch. Like his movies I, anyway. Okay, Tina, it's, just let let Ernest finish off. Sorry. It's okay. It's okay for people to like these things, right? If they want to. But what I'm saying is that there are some spaces and places that will not promote it, and that's okay. And and I think that that's where I stand with it. Like I'm. I think it's okay for people to decide to cancel or companies to make a decision not to air things on their channels because it's a free market and a free enterprise. You all support capitalism and you all want that free market and that gives them the liberty to make those decisions. I do, but the problem is, Ernest, the problem is, Ernest, the people running these companies, they're all woke. They are all woke. They all think the same as you. And what they want to shut down is opposing political views. But look, Tina, I'm going to have to have you back because this whole I wouldn't go for dinner with a Tory thing, I find that so disturbing. No, I'm just, well, debate. I wouldn't actually, but there you go. OK, well, look, we're going to talk about that another time because that's enraged me.